All right, so here's a motor that I had been wanting to check out. This is the my RC Martz RCX NK2204 2400KV. So this motor is rather small compared to all, all of the big motors that we've been uh, getting lately, like the 2207s, 2306, 2507s, etc. Et so this one came out uh, some time ago. I guess the main purpose was for a very light build on 5 inch. Uh, so 2204s have not been popular uh, lately because everybody everybody's going to the big motors, but then there was a uh, there's been some interest in very uh, ultralight builds, so I guess that that's where this motor comes in. KV is kind of like mid low KV, uh, 2400, and the size, of course, is a uh, fairly small, small stator 2204. But the one thing with this motor is that it's got all the bells and whistles, all, all the latest features, you know, that we've been coming to expect from all the new motors. Uh, so it's got a uh, arc magnets and the uh, one piece shaft uh, uh, 7075 aluminum construction all around and uh, large bearings actually and as you can see there's also a shaft retaining screw there so that's that's pretty cool so it's a full feature motor but in a small size uh, actually a size that hasn't been uh, that popular lately so so pretty interesting uh, motor from from RCX I think they on, they're only offering this one KV 2400 KV so as you see uh, pretty typical styling from uh, RCX uh, most of their motors have kind of like the similar uh, the similar pattern on the spokes here on the bell uh, just a minimal four spokes to keep it light and uh, uh, now they're going, uh, this was one of the first ones with the naked bottom actually. Uh, then later on, a few weeks later, uh, uh, the 2306 came out and now the 2207s are coming out. Uh, they're just being released recently. Uh, so those other two motors I also tested, the results are on the channel. Uh, just look for them. Uh, pretty good performing motors as well. The NK2306 uh, I believe is 24. 400 or 2500 I forget and the other one is a 2700 and similar KVs for the 2207 so those those other motors also perform quite well uh, alright so let's uh, let me take that out actually I'm noticing that's the kind of screw that I, I actually like the most uh, it's a button head screw so it's got pretty deep socket and it's a pretty strong screw so it's gonna be more difficult to round it off you know to mess it up so those screws are pretty good some other motors they use like a, a shallower head so there's not much uh, material and the they don't they're harder to get out so this one seems the Loctite they're using is not that bad it's uh, it, you can feel the Loctite but it's not overly hard and pretty good size screw so that, that's a good screw to use and there's the, the brass washer yeah that's a fully hollow shaft actually all the way through so that's that's pretty good there we go and I'm also noticing that's one of those nice beefy bearings. That's a four by nine by four bearing. So that's good. Yeah, that's a nine millimeter bearing. So so more than enough bearing for this motor. It should make this motor very durable, I think. So once the screws out, we can pull the bell out. And these magnets are pretty strong and let's have a look on their, the magnifying glass so we can have a closer look alright so there's the stator and pretty neat windings uh, those are multi-strand wires and it looks like in bundles of two and there you can see the really good ESO bearings pretty beefy 4 by 9 by 4 
so that should make this more motor quite durable especially because uh, uh, the shaft uh, it only has to traverse a, uh, a four, it's only a four millimeter height stator so it's gonna be a short shaft so there's gonna be a lot less uh, stress on these uh, on these bearings so so that's gonna be uh, those are gonna be those should be pretty durable I think uh, nice and beefy base actually and wires are pretty neat they're nicely tucked in so nothing uh, nothing really hanging out uh, so that's that's good uh, they should be pretty pretty well protected I think and there's the laminations look looks like a point two millimeters so this motor is pretty much packing all the all the features all the latest tech features and shaft is one piece hardened steel uh, it is magnetic so so that's uh, that should be hardened steel I think and yeah, there's a nice texture there for the uh, for the prop so that that's good 20 millimeter gauge wire uh, for the motor leads all right so let's put this back together and uh, I'll put it on the scale see how much it weighs one other thing that uh, I really like about RCX motors is that the bearings they fit snugly they're not loose they just fit uh, really snug but they they're pretty easy to to remove to pop out so I like it when motors have uh, those bearings that are that pop out easily very easy to change okay so let's put uh, this motor back together I'll put the retaining screw back on and I'll put it on the on the scale see how much it weighs and then onto the thrust stand Alright, so let's see what it weighs. That's uh, 150 millimeters of uh, 20 gauge wire. So with that much wire, it comes in at 25.4. And so if we cut the wire to about 50 millimeters, then we get rid of that much. Uh, so 2.4, we get, get rid of 2.4 so that's like about 23 grams with uh, 50 millimeters of wire so Alright, so let's look at the thrust test results for this 2204 motor from my RC Mart. This one's the RCX NK2204 2700KV. And this motor measured at a lower 2520KV as measured by the thrust stand. Quite a lower KV value, but that's alright. Uh, let's look at the thrust test uh, results. Based on that KV, I 
tested on 3S and 4S and the usual props as I've tested with the other two motors from this series the 2950 kV and 2400 kV I've tested those uh, in the past so you can check those out uh, there on the channel so the usual props uh, starting with the DAL T4045 by 3 a decent uh, thrust for this size motor 855 grams uh, at a very uh, manageable 21.2 amps and keep in mind uh, these amps are for static thrust and they're momentary amps so you the motor only sees them for a very short time and in flight this is actually going to be a lot lower uh, probably around 35 percent lower so that's very manageable so you know uh, like a 1000 milliamp uh, battery should be fine on 4s i think uh, to handle this this kind of uh, amp draw. So in fact this motor might be a better match if you want to run 4 inch props on a light frame it'll be very gentle on the battery. So then on to the HQ4043 800 grams uh, it's and also quite low amps right here 19 amps and that uh, again uh, as I said that's max so in flight it's gonna be a lot lower uh, around 35 percent lower so you can multiply that times 0.65 and, and that'll give us around uh, 13 amps so very manageable of course that's an estimate because that depends on uh, the overall weight of your quad and a uh, whole bunch of other factors but you know that's a good approximation so any 20 amp PSCs would work fine with this setup so then onto the gen fan flash uh, 4052 by 3 uh, finally got this prop uh, delivered and uh, it's quite a surprising results actually i was expecting it to perform at a lower uh, level than the hq but as you see anyway on, on static because usually these flash props have low numbers on the thrust stand but we all know that in flight they're actually quite fast and they're very responsive so 937 it's doing quite well actually on the static apps do look kind of high but uh, as i mentioned that's gonna come down in, in flight so pretty good prop i think then on to the 40 40 by 4 thrust is increasing pretty manageable amps still uh, then uh, the first of the five inch props i switched over from the diatone because i've been seeing on youtube uh, some people are having issues with the diatone prop it's coming apart in flight i guess the plastic if it uh, is bent or it, it starts to develop uh, some stress points and, and the blades just come apart in mid-flight. Uh, so this DAL J5030 is made out of the same material that uh, all the other DAL props are so it's pretty resilient and uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna come apart so it's pretty similar performance to the diatone anyway uh, it's got the same blade profile uh, so that's nine, 973 grams at a very reasonable 21.2 amps so that's a good match for this motor uh, then onto the hq 5040 a uh, little bit more thrust 1125 still amps are reasonable 29.5 then on a heavier prop the 5045 bn gen fan i tested that one on 3s 841 on 3S and 1176 on 4S. Amps uh, increase a little bit. Uh, then finally onto the 5 inch tri-blade. Uh, this one's uh, one of the lighter ones. 5043 by 3 B1S. 853 on 3S and 1215 on 4S. 34.8 amps. Uh, still manageable because remember that's uh, max amps on static. So in flight that's going to unload a lot and, and it'll be fine for this motor. Uh, so overall a pretty good performance out of this motor if you were looking for a little bit more thrust than what the 2400 kV version of this motor was outputting uh, this could be a good option but uh, as you can see it's not gonna be a whole bunch of thrust it's just a slight increase but still will manage to keep the amps low so if you want to still be gentle on the batteries and get decent uh, flight times uh, this could be a good option and then of course there's the 2950 kV version of this motor a uh, little bit more thrust and of course it's gonna pull more amps so flights will be shorter so there you go you have uh, three different options on a very well built motor uh, this is probably one of the best built 2204s I think with that nice and beefy bearing all right so that's the results for this motor hope you find that useful and uh, until the next video Thank you for watching.